for about five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's press it right back down the middle. Look up at your hands. Push your hip forward. Squeeze your butt and lean back. Lean it back as far as you can. Three, two, one. Stand tall. Unlock your hands. Hinge at your hip. Fall forward and just hang out here in this forward position. Make sure the legs are straight, so press the knees back. And walk both hands over to your left foot. So pushing the knees back, walk the hands over to the left. Hold here. Three, two, one. Good, let's walk both hands over to the right. And let's hold that. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, walk both hands right on down the middle. Let's bend the left leg, keep that right leg straight. Keep that knee of the bent leg tracking toward the second toe. Get it nice and low. Keep your hips as low as you can. Go ahead and switch sides. There you go. Good. Let's go ahead and switch that again. Keeping those hips down. Good. Switch it again. Good. And let's straighten both legs again. Drop your head and walk your feet in now to hip distance. And give me a deep squat. Drop the hips straight down. Wedge your elbows inside the knees. Push your palms together and lift through the chest. There you go. Breathing. Good. Keep that left elbow trapped inside the legs. Grab the right ankle with your left hand and rotate your right arm up to the sky as high as you can. Rotate it. Good. Go ahead and switch sides. Lift that left arm up. Rotate. Good. Let's switch that again. Rotate. And good. And one more time. Let's go ahead and switch. And rotate. Reaching that arm up to the ceiling. Good. And then place both hands on the floor in front of you. Lean into your elbows. Push your knees out just a little bit further. Good. And rock back to the heels. Straighten your legs as you drop your head. Again, push the knees back. Let the torso just hang. And give me a slight bend to the knee, curl the spine, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, and let's get some shoulder rolls going. Up, back, down, forward. Up, back, down, forward. Keep it going, keep it going. Up, back, down, and forward. Good. And let's reverse direction on that. There you go. Good. And then hands on your hips, chin to your chest, roll your neck around a few times one way. And let's reverse that direction for a few. Good. And look straight ahead. Step your right foot back, your left foot forward. And we're just going to swing the right arm. Just let it swing. Opening up the shoulder. Good. Switch direction. Just whipping that arm around. And then take that swinging arm, that right arm, bring it across your chest and give it a hug. Hold this for five, four, three, two. Take that hand behind your head. Grab the elbow. Pull it to the left. Lean to the left and hook your right foot behind your left ankle. Push the hip away as you pull that elbow. Three, two, one. Good. All right. Let's step the left foot back. Let's swing that left arm. And we're breathing. Good. Go ahead and switch direction. Swing it. Swing. That's right. Bring that swinging arm across your chest. Give it a hug. Good. And then take that hand behind your head. Grab the elbow. Pull. And then lean. And then take your left foot. Hook it behind the right ankle. Pull the elbow as you press the hip away. Making this half moon shape with your body. Good. Stand tall. All right. And let's jump around. Let's get some jumping jacks going. 20 seconds. Tap the fingers and slap the thighs. Give me 20 here. Keep working. Good. Good, keep it working. Let's turn those into seal jacks for the last 10. Wide arms, wide feet, cross the feet, and cross the arms. Good, five, four, three, two. Let's pump the knees and swing the arms. Try to get your knees up to hips. Swing the arms in opposition. Good. 
And now go as fast as you can. Fast as you can go. Five seconds. Go fast. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. Time. Okay. We are warm. So like I said earlier, we are going to do Iman supersets. So you will have a minute to do the reps of each exercise. Just two to start. You'll have the remainder of the minute to rest. Um, and we're going to go these two exercises back to back. Four times each. Total of eight sets. Lunging back on the right leg and you're lunging forward on the right leg. Simple as that. Lunge back, lunge forward, okay? When you lunge back, the arm stays the same. When you lunge forward, snap the dumbbell to the shoulder and then bring it back down as you lunge back. So lunge forward, snap that dumbbell up and back down. Snap it up and back down. Forward and back is one rep. We will do five reps on each leg. So that being said, if you get to the 30 second point in the minute and you haven't completed your reps, switch legs and just match the reps on the other side. And then from there, we're gonna go into a single arm dumbbell thruster. And this is gonna be eight on each arm. So hold your dumbbell on one arm, tuck that elbow in, aiming straight toward the ground. And just think of tapping your knee with the elbow. And as you come up, punch overhead with that dumbbell. Use that momentum coming out of the squat to punch the dumbbell overhead. Real simple. That's gonna be eight on each arm, 16 total. Now I got a little twist on this Iman here. This is a little challenge for you out there if you're up for the challenge. On the seesaw lunges, we'll be doing four rounds of it. Add an extra rep each round, okay? First time you go through, you go back and forth for five. Second time, go six. Third time, seven. See if you can make it all the way up to eight each leg. Okay, so there's a little challenge there. Add a rep to your seesaw lunges each time we come back around. Otherwise, that's what we're doing seesaw lunges, single arm dumbbell thrusters. We got five each plus one on the lunges, and we got eight each on the thrusters. Everybody get ready. Get your dumbbells ready. Get your sandbags ready. Get your book bags ready. Here we go. We start in three, two, one. Here we go. Step it back, snap it forward. That's one. Back, forward, two. Back, snap it up, three. And four. And you're breathing, five. Good, after five, we're gonna switch legs. Step back, snap it up, one. And two. And three. And four. And five. Good, all right, that was 30 seconds for me. If you kept up with me, you are good for the rest of the minute. If you did not keep up with me, keep working. Get all of those reps in. There you go. Forward lunge, back lunge, snap that dumbbell up. We've got 15 seconds, and we're gonna move into our single arm squat, our thruster, so squat into overhead press. One arm, eight on each side. Get ready, five seconds. Four, three, two, here we go. Squat, push. We're going eight each. That's right. Get low on that squat. Use that momentum coming out of that squat to punch the dumbbell right overhead. Squat, punch. Squat, punch. Squat, punch. Exhale, coming out of that squat. You got 30 more seconds. Get those reps in. Come on. That's right. Drop it down. Press back up. Push the floor away. You got 15 seconds, and then if you're up for the challenge, let's do six seesaw lunges. Forward and back is one. We'll do six on each side. Get ready, because we go in five, four, three, two, and step it back, and forward, one, and back, forward, two, three, four, five, there's my six, and I'll be switching arms. If you're doing the plus one, switch at six. Here we go. That's three for me. That was the 30 second mark. Yeah. Good, good. 
Good. If you have finished, if you're doing the challenge, you will go on 60 side. If you have finished, that's 15 seconds of rest. Then we go back into our thrusters. 10 seconds. Get ready. Get ready. Cause we go in three, two, one. Come on, squat. Punch it. Yeah. That's right. Set that dumbbell up. Nice and deep on the squat. Punch it through. Use your legs. Arms are just controlling it. Just lead the way. The legs are doing all the work here. That's right. Keep connecting your breath to these movements. You got 30 more seconds. Get those reps in. Come on. Come on. Lots of time. Lots of time. You have 10 more seconds. We're back to our seesaw lunges. Let's go seven on each side. Three, two, one. This will mark the halfway point. Here we go. And back. And one. seconds. We got this. We got this. We're resilient. We got this. Three, two, one. Let's get back to those thrusters. I need eight on each side. Come on. Good. Probably hear me breathing through these ear pods. So keep your breath up. Plenty of time. 30 seconds. And then we go into our fourth and final round. And we'll be looking for eight of those seesaw lunges. Whew. Finishing it strong. All right, get yourselves ready. We got 10 seconds. Get your dumbbells in hand. We go in three, two. Give me eight on each leg. Come on. Step it back and forward. One, two, three, four, five. And there's my eight on one side. Get your eight in. Come on, guys.
20 seconds. If you are done, enjoy this break, because we're not letting up. The next two are gonna be just as challenging. 10 more seconds. If you are done, you should grab yourself a sip of water and get ready for the next round. Two, one, done. All right, everybody, nicely done. Okay, so we're gonna do a row, but here's another challenge for you. Try a rear foot elevator row. I'm gonna use sandbag this time. Try a rear foot elevator row. So, it's gonna be contralateral. If I'm holding the sandbag, if you're holding a book bag, dumbbell, in your right hand, you're gonna balance on your left leg. So this has a lot of core, as well as that horizontal pull. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bounce on your left leg, reach your leg back, like you're doing a single leg deadlift. But you hold this position, and then you row from here. So you're gonna work balance, as well as getting that horizontal pull. Little thing about balancing, feel like you're pressing your big toe and your heel into the ground, like you grab the ground with your feet. It's a great cue for finding balance. Either way, I'm looking for 15 reps on each side. Then, we're gonna do around the world with a push-up. So what is that? Around the world is a plank position, and you're gonna lift one leg at a time, just go around the body. Lift an arm, lift another arm, lift a leg, lift a leg, one push-up. That's one rep, okay? You're gonna do six to start, and then like we did with the seesaw lunges, I want you to add one more rep every time we come back hopefully getting to 10 reps at the end of this one, okay? So we got our rear foot elevator row, 15 on each side, and we have around the world with a push-up, starting with six, add one each and every time. All right, you guys, get your minds right. We're starting with our rear foot elevator row, and we go in three, two, one. Come on, I need 15. Grab the floor, do your big toe on the floor. A little bit on that leg. Now, if you start fighting for balance, then do a stagger stance like I'm doing here. Just put that back foot back on the floor. But really fight for it. Really try to get your balance there. Whoo! You're gonna feel your glutes. You're gonna feel your hamstrings working on this one as well. Switch sides. That's the third. That's the 30 minute halfway mark. If you did not get all 15, that is okay. Switch and match. Switch. And match. Whew. If you have your 15, congratulations. And now we're gonna go into six around the world with push-ups. You got 10 seconds. Get ready. Five, four, come on. Three, two, one. Lift one arm, lift the other arm, lift a leg, lift the other leg, push up. That's one. Lift, lift, hand, push up. Two, three, I need six from you. Obviously, you can drop to your knees for the push-up if you need to. Keep working. Come on. 30 more seconds. If you have finished your reps, congrats. That's one down. We're gonna do it again. 15 seconds. We got our rear foot elevator row or our staggered row. We got 15 on each side. We're gonna go in five seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Let's work it. Keep your breath. Exhale as you pull. I need 15 from you. Come on, come on, I need 15, let's go. That's 30 seconds, you got lots of time. There's no rush here. Good, 15 seconds. We're back to our around the world with a push up. Seven reps this time, 10 seconds. Get ready. 
in five, four, come on, three, two, let's go. Lift an arm, lift the other arm, lift the leg, lift the other leg, drop your chest to the floor. Lift, 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 and drop. Lift, lift, and drop. Breathing here, come on. Okay, we're not in a hurry. We've got lots of time. 30 seconds. Get them all done. 20 seconds. We're looking for seven reps here. Ten seconds. This will mark the halfway point of the second round. Five seconds. Let's get back to those rows. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Out, grab the floor. It's hard to go fast. You want to go fast, but it's hard to go fast. You still got plenty of time. 30 more seconds. Get them done. 15 seconds. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Back to our around the world with a push up. I'm looking for eight reps. Let's go. Come on. Lift an arm, lift an arm, lift a leg, lift a leg. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I got one more. And yeah. Whew. Man, let's get the job done. Fifteen seconds, come on. Get him in. Get ready. Get ready for those rows. Because we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Good. Exhale and pull. Exhale and pull. Twenty seconds. Come on, ten more seconds, and we got our last round of around the world with the push-up. I know nine is supposed to be our rep count, but can you do ten? Let's try it. Let's go. Come on. One. In. Get yours in. Come on. And time. All right. I'm sure you could use a rest. So you take a rest, and then I'm going to go over our next round. All right. We're
starting to switch gears a little bit. We're going to get into some plyometrics. So we're going to do some jump training. And we're going to do some abdominals with some crucifix crunches. So jump training, plyo. We're going to do skaters. But I want to add a little something to it. So you guys should know skater hops. Right foot back, left foot forward. Push off that front foot. Lay on the opposite foot and send the front foot back behind you. So here's the challenge. Hop and then jump. It would look like this. Hop, jump, hop, jump, just off of one leg. Hop, jump. So whatever leg you're landing on, that knee goes back, drive that knee forward, and hop off of that same leg. Try it. If it's too much and you're compromised on balance and whatnot, no worries. Do regular ones. But give those a try. Either way, we're going 20 reps. Out. If you're doing regular ones, make forward and back or side to side one rep, okay? So you go one, two. If you're doing regular ones, work up to 20. If you're doing the advanced ones here, it would be just 20 reps, okay? And then we got crucifix crunches. So you're gonna lie down. You're gonna come into a hollow position, hollow hole. You're gonna reach your arms out to the side, like a crucifix. You're gonna pop up to your butt, pull the knees in, tap the heels, reach back out. Tap, reach, tap, reach. Arms are gonna reach out to the side in between each rep. So when you extend your legs, you'll roll back and reach your arms out to the side. We're looking for 20 of those to start, and then I'm gonna challenge you to add one more rep to those each time we come back around. All right, we are gonna start with our skater hops. So, get yourselves ready, because we go. Right foot back, left foot forward, three, two, one. Go, hop, jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That back leg, the knee drives up, and that's what gets you off the ground. So keep it going. Come on, give me those 20. Come on. And then a hop. Or if you're just doing the regular ones, side to side is one. I need 20. Or if you're counting them individually, it's 40. Keep it going. 10 more seconds, get those reps in. If you have finished, get ready for your crunches. Get ready. Let's get down to the ground. I need 20. Arms outside, tap the heels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten. I need ten more. Ooh, these burn. Three. in the lower abdominals. That spot. Good. If you have finished them, you've got 25 seconds left. If you have not, you got 25 more seconds to get them in. And we are back to our skaters. Ooh. 10 seconds, get ready. Right foot back, left foot forward. Hop off that left foot. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Hop, jump. Two, jump. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Those sting. <laughs> seconds, I can't feel my glutes. I don't even know if I have them anymore. Oh my gosh. 20 more seconds, you guys. Come on, get them in. Get them in. 10 more seconds. And then I need 21 crucifix crunches. Get ready. Three, 
Set breaks. I am. I got six more. Good job, everybody. Good job. You got 15 more seconds. And this will mark the halfway point of our third round of supersets. Well, we're dialing it in today. Everything is getting hit today. Alright, here we go. Back to our skater hops. You decide which version you're going to do. Hey, here we go. One. You can split it up if you want. Do ten of the first ones and then finish off with ten of the second ones. You got lots of time still, 30 seconds. Come on, come on. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Ten seconds. We need twenty-two crunches. Ooh. Everybody gets a six pack today. Six packs all around. Here we go. Come on. I need 22. That's halfway for me. Keep working, keep working. 30 more seconds. Good stuff. You got 15 more seconds to go. You still got lots of time, lots of time. 10 seconds. We got our final round. Skater hops happening in three, two, one, come on. Keep your breath going. I'm sweating a storm. Stay hydrated. 30 more seconds. Come on. Get them in. Get them done. Fifteen seconds. And we gotta find around crucifix crunches. I need 23. Crucifix crunches. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get it done. Come on. This is it. Take the whole minute. You got nothing but rest after this. Take your time. Or just get it done and relax that much longer. Thirty seconds. Good. Twenty seconds to go. No quit. Come on. No quit here. Let's go. Get him in. Ten more seconds. If you are done, grab yourself a sip of water. Because we have another superset to get to. Two more exercises. 
and time. All right. Okay, we're gonna hit the core again. Aha. That's okay though, because we're gonna hit the sides. We're gonna go for the obliques. And then we're gonna go into hips with some swings. So, oblique crunches. You're gonna lie down on one side. So if you're lying on your left side, your left arm is gonna be extended out in front of your chest. Your right hand is gonna be behind your head with the elbow facing the ceiling. You can lift your feet up off the ground. You gotta rise up to that bottom elbow, okay? Make sure you hop up to that bottom elbow. And then you're gonna pull your knees in towards your chest and then tap that top knee with this top elbow and then reach it back down. Tap, reach the feet. Tap and reach, okay? We're gonna do 12 on each side to start, but this is the one where we add one more rep each time we come around, finishing with 15 reps, hopefully. So that's the first one. The second one is gonna be single arm swings. So you're gonna grab your dumbbell. We got 15 each arm. So with these, you could go side swings, or you could go right down the middle. Remember with swings, we wanna send the hip back. So as the dumbbell swings toward the hip, the hip reaches back, you lean forward, snapping the hips forward, knee snap back, that forward momentum of the hips is what makes the, the uh, kettlebell or dumbbell swing. It's not forcing with the arm. Those swings, we need 15 on each side, total of 30 reps. So we have our side oblique crunches. For 12, we add one each rep, or each uh, set, and then we have our 15 swings on each side. So. Let's get some obliques going. Here we go. We start in three, two, one. Give me 12. One, two, three, four, five. You want a little bit more intensity on this? Yes, Mike. How would I do that? Keep your legs straight. Wow, that's great. We're going 12. There's my 12. On each side. That's 30 more seconds. Yowza. Whew. 20 seconds to go. And we're back to our, we're starting with our swings. 15 each side. 10 more seconds. Get ready, you got five seconds. Grab your weapons. Two, one, here we go, give me 15. Nice work, everybody. Nice work. 10 seconds. We're back to our oblique crunches. 13 reps on each side. What? Get ready. Three, two, one. Come on. Keep breathing. Exhale as you press up. 13 each side. Come on, step up to the challenge. Keep breathing. Some of you guys out there are probably some of the fittest people out there right now. Fittest people on the planet. You guys have been killing it. Got 10 more seconds, and we're back to our swings. Whew. I'm gonna use the sandbag this time. Why not? Let's see how this thing works. Here we go. That's not bad. Right down the middle. Or to 
the side. Remember, the, the glutes are doing all the work here. Push your hips back, reach the dumbbell back, and then as you snap the hips forward, just let the arms swing. Let's do its natural thing. And as it swings back, you stick your booty out and snap it forward. 30 seconds, come on. Good. 15 seconds. There's no quit out there. I like that. No quit with this group. Uh-uh. Five seconds. We got 14 opening crunches. Come on, 14. Let's go. Keep it going. I need all 14 on each side. I must have it. I need it. Come on. Make it happen. You are resilient out there. You got this. Come on. This is nothing. We got about 10 more seconds left. And we're back to our swings. Come on, three, two, one, let's go. That's right. Just keep focusing when the glutes drive back, the glutes snap forward. Just let that arm do what it will. There you go. Strong glutes. Can't touch these glutes. Come on. 30 more seconds. Squeeze them until they burn. If they're not burning at the top of that movement, squeeze them. Give them a good squeeze. Come on. 10 more seconds, and we got our final round. Three, two, I need 15 crunches. Side oblique crunches on each side, 15. Come on. Good. That's right, I'm right here with you. Come on. There's my 15 on one side. Come on, you guys. You got 30 more seconds. If you are done, you've got 14 more seconds to go. If not, you keep working. And we just got one more set of our swings. And we're done with this guy. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's get them done, come on. That's right. seconds. Finish them up. Get them done and we'll take a little uh, rest and then we'll do a cool down stretch if you all want to hang out for a few more minutes. 15 seconds. No quit. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, Pencils down, heads up. All right. Nicely done, everybody. You guys deserve a little round of applause there.